We're trying every item in the March 2022 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, welcome to the March 2022 edition of Smash the Crate, the monthly series where myself along with my husband and my mother try every item in this month's Keto Crate. Don't forget, you can click the link in the description of this video to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate, or you can stick around to the end to see if you want one for free. All right, let's hop into it, you guys. Okay, first thing, there were a couple of like, eh, things going on with this Keto Crate. Number one being the Love Good Fats bar already open oh, well, it, no. it arrived oh. open and it was that. lemon it was mousse oh. tier four no i'm yeah. just um you know we can't try it but right. i i uh, have emailed keto crate and like okay. they'll send me another one but That's we cool. just uh, can't yes. try it for yes. right now that so i was like Somebody else was snacking on it. Hell, exactly. It was a tier one for them, yeah, right? They couldn't wait. Uh, yeah. And then the next eh thing, we okay. got a meat stick. <laughs> We're just... Finally, yes. Okay, so hopping Man. right into the yeah, hopping right into the keto crate. Is it so a fanny? no, it's uh, not. It is a big oh, fork. I think a fanny should be included in every. No, so if you remember our know. tier system, right? It starts from best to worst. Tier yeah. one, love it. Would buy it. Have bought it. Totally worth the money. Yep. This tastes delicious. Tier two, you know what? I like that. I probably wouldn't buy it, but like if someone gave it to me for free, or if I got it in the keto crate, I would be glad to see it. Ooh. Tier three. I mean, I'll eat this. Like, I'm just, it's definitely not something I would choose, the but like, snack drawer but thing. like, I'm not throwing it away. Right. It's like at the end, it's in the it's, end of the snack drawer. It's a bake, you know, break glass in case of emergency. Like, I've got to have something, there right? And then tier four, yuck. I will not eat this. I did not like how it tasted. I would definitely not buy it. And if someone gave it to me for free, I would refuse it. I'd be like, Thank nah, you. man, I don't even like those. So don't give it to me, right? That's our tiering system. Great tier. Tier four. No. <laughs> just, this is maple and pepper. Mm -hmm. So oh. it is a craft pork stick. So well, sounds familiar. Then we have, we have had before. something, and I don't know if we tasted the maple oh. or the pepper, but regardless, I know my husband's going to enjoy it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Too. When you enjoy yeah. it, her husband's to, going to enjoy it. To enjoy a meat stick, yeah. you have to emulate the meat stick. You have to do. How do you, you emulate a think, meat stick? Think meat stick. Think you be think. the meat stick. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Feel the meat stick. Ah, here we go. So many, yeah, that's what she aroma. said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Mm. I do smell hints of maple. I see pepper. Oh, you see those flecks? I, I, I did. Okay, so. All right, good. let's go. Here we go. Beautiful. Big fork. Mm. Meat stick. Mm. Meat stick. Mm. Uh, Richard, you don't taste me, anything. No. It gives me vibes of Monaco in the summer. Monaco? In the summer. No, you don't make any sense. Oh my God. Mm. It is really good. I did not taste maple. No, I didn't. I tasted maple. I kind of got a little pepper, but yeah, I, I think that's pepper. the maple. Overall, if you were to put like four meat sticks in front of me and say, which one of these is maple pepper, I would not I have guessed that it. one. I would have nailed I would have. it. Now you have the pepper part. I can smell the maple. Oh my gosh. Tier three. Mm. I'll just I never like meat sticks. So. I agree. Tier three. Tier one. Because this is really tasty. Depending on price, tier one. Okay. On the Moving on. Down so another savory. Place. We have um, Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork uh -huh. Rinds. And these are salt and pepper. And like I said, if it's not just like hot and spicy, mm -hmm. sea salt and black pepper is my next favorite flavor. So grab one. Oh, yes. Grabbing. Crab is oh, good night. If man. all the pork rinds are stuck no, together, no, no. that's one, one pork, pork rind. rind. This is it. Name that movie. Uh, I know, right? I did a name that movie on the uh, Keto Crate unboxing. Show. No, I was uh, well. okay. So you could definitely see the flecks of pepper. Like, I mean, it's it's, it's, it's like dusty and coated. I'm here for it. Okay. Right, are we doing this? Oh, dang. There we go. Not as salty or peppery as I would like. It's good. Mm -hmm. Two or two to me. I mean, it's a tier two. That was a lot. I mean, so it like, tastes. As long as I wish it was saltier, but maybe that's just my personal preference. Like maybe mm. these are like as salty as someone would expect them to be, but it's a tier two. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, 
like Richard said, they are great. Mm -hmm. Guacamole, salsa, queso, anything. You want to crush these up. Vessel. You want to crush these up, coat some chicken or something. These Perfect. are great for that. So, tier two. Okay, next moving on, I think we have one last savory item. Oh. And it is almond flour crackers from Real Fat Foods. Oh, now, I didn't name that movie last time. I said P-H-A-T, Pretty Hot and Tempting. You know, what, well, first of all, I said, what does that stand for? Pretty Hot and Tempting. And then what movie is that from? Yes. I don't, I mean, I, can I name a person in it? Yes. Smokey. Okay, that is not... Chris I mean, Tucker, yes. first yeah. of all. Chris Tucker. <laughs> I can see it. It's Charlie Sheen, yeah. but now I can't even remember the movie. It's Money Talks. It, that's exactly yeah, what that. it is. Oh my gosh. P H A T. I was wrong. Pretty hot. No, yeah. wait a minute. We were all wrong. Yeah. Richard was right. So <laughs> there you go. Here we go. Oh, oh okay. Nice. These are very blonde. Yes, and they're very. But like, I do like very, yeah. how large they are. Like I mean, this is like, like, like chips. two. Like, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. They're like they're like oh, no. poker chips. They're like yeah. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. Really I mean, this is a big, this is a big cracker. I am here for that. Like, this is a good two, like one and one and three quarter exactly. by one and three quarter you can really situation. Get some guacamole going yeah, these on seem yeah, these no, seem these strong. Are definitely good vessels. Okay, let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. like, I do too. Yeah. We've had something similar that to this before. My, it's not like a cracker, like a saltine, like a really crispy. It's mm -hmm. definitely chewier, but it, it's, it's good. More like, yeah, a, like a wheat thin. Like, like a weedable. Wheat We've had the weedable oh conversation before. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you said the word weedable, and I've looked at you like you were dumb. That's right, the weedable. Oh, yeah, weedable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that word he grew up. It's definitely like a wheat thin sort of thing, I but, really like that. but that tastes good. Mm -hmm. To me, in terms of flavor, like that's a tier one. Like mm -hmm. that's a, you know what? I would buy this, especially if it came in little packets like this where I didn't have to like count oh, out no, 11 exactly. and put the rest back and then be like, well, you know what? I'm going to have some more, well, you know? Exactly. So Cause that's exactly what Packaging I do. Yeah. Matters too. yeah. Individually packaged. Yeah. These, these are good. Mm -hmm. I actually like that. Say, Real fat foods. Yeah. Oh yeah. I do. I do oh, like them man, better than the, the pork taste rind. Of those was, I was really, I like the texture. It to taste that good. Yeah. And the, you could definitely <laughs> taste like the garlic uh, and onion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, there's definitely yes. some seasoning to that. That was a tier, tier one. Tier one for me too. Good job. Real the, fat wait, foods. Wait, what are you over there? You want as well? Oh uh, yes. All right. The first, it's unanimous. The first unanimous one today. They got a one. Yeah. Okay. Well, back to this meat stick. Oh, oh gosh. Wow. Okay. Moving into sweet. Ooh. Fat bars. Raspberry and almond Ooh. ketogenic nut bar. Well, you I know. Had me at raspberry. I know. I know. I had you at raspberry. There so we go. moving into the sweets. You see what it looks mm. like. Look it's that. one of those glistening. It's like oily, mm -hmm. but you can see the really shiny. Yeah, it's shiny, but you can like see the texture of like yeah. the raspberry and the almonds. I mean, Ooh. that's not bad. This is definitely gonna make me feel like it's chewy. You would think An being so glistening. <laughs> Big oily bohunk. Yeah, yeah, we were just oh, quoting oh, all the movies yeah, today. Are, so. Okay, but I mean, okay, let's go. It looks beautiful though. Very sticky. Well, it took a minute. Here we go. Definitely hint of raspberry, yeah, but yeah, definitely yeah, raspberry. Yeah. Something about this I like. Like the the I don't like know why. I don't, it's sneaky and mysterious. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. The coating is. I like the chew mm -hmm. of that bar. The subtle flavor of the bar is okay. The only thing I do not like is the size of the bar. Yeah. I would not have one of these and be like, ah, hit the spot. You know, like I need three of these, you know, mm -hmm. but like that's not that bar's fault. No. That's my fault. You know, that's yeah. my yeah. issue, right? They're really um, tasty. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a tier one too. I mean like I would agree. Yeah, I, I really was, like the texture. I was going that way. I'm trying to I'm trying to be more like forgiving of the items like just because they might not be my jam yeah. do they objectively taste good yes exactly this does right and so, they are my jam yeah that's I a love, tier one i love, I love raspberry anything jam. So, that was okay and even for me the type of person that like it, it wasn't too raspberry eat where i'm like oh see this is why i don't like fruit my yeah. stuff like that's good Very enough subtle. yeah it was it's subtle, subtle but it was tasty in a good way so tier one i am very okay impressive. okay yeah. thank you bro <laughs> Gross, right? Gross. So so gross. Okay, yes. next we're gonna have something I know you love Ooh, keto crisp yes. almond butter. Yeah. One of my favorite flavors. Yes, exactly. Just the the original, the traditional. You so. don't mess up the original, okay? Yeah, no, they the they add stuff to it and it makes it even better. No, 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 That's no, what they no, do. No, 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 no. So look at this. It yeah. is like 
a beautiful tan blonde bar. You can see the crispy mm -hmm. puffs. You can see the no, texture. I can taste it already. Yeah. One. And so <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. We have to wait. I'm gonna take. Oh, Jude's gonna break this today. I was well, only to give oh, no, I, only to give Richard the whole okay, thing because he means, loves that. Okay, you know, okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah. So, but like. Tier one. <laughs> yes. Okay. Tier yeah. one. Mm. I mean. I'll be back. <laughs> oh yes. The crispiness. Mm. The creaminess. It's candy. Mm. The almond butteriness. Mm. The sweetness. Delicacy. Mm. The only thing that can make that better is chocolate. Mm -hmm. But guess what? They have a flavor <laughs> with well, almond butter and chocolate chips. Well, I mean, so. that, that's my second mm. favorite, just chocolate chip. I mean, mm. I do love the chocolate chip. Keto crisps. Woo! Well, well, almond butter is like. like it's like, Tier one. it's like a classic <clears throat> that you can't go wrong. Undisputed. I don't even have to like, mm, no, no. That's a tier one. That is an amazing. Oh, two tier ones if you like a tier crispy, <laughs> if you like crispy, like if you're looking for texture, but like the creaminess of like mm -hmm. a real almond butter, like, but like no erythritol yeah, aftertaste, right, yeah. no, I mean, just no nothing to think about except the delicious yeah. flavor yeah. that you are experiencing. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit between like a Nestle Crunch and like a yeah. Rice Krispie Treat. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the Rice Krispie like Treat, I got you. Yeah, yeah. but like, yeah. like, but like yeah. peanut, but like, but a Nutter Butter, because yeah. it's peanut mm -hmm. buttery, mm -hmm. you know? It's oh, delicious. So good. All of those buttery. adjectives. Yeah, exactly. I'll be last so, one of them. way to go, <laughs> tier yeah. one. Okay, next we have yet another product I'm excited about. Better Than Good Protein Puffs Cinnamon Roll. And I told them, if Better Than Good told us it was gonna taste like a cinnamon roll, this is about to taste like a cinnamon roll, right? Oh, okay. Because how they, back their they, they are wildly accurate when it comes Wonderful. to the naming of their flavors, right? Wasn't this Wonderful. the one we did the hamburger? That's exactly what I said. No, and it really it tasted like, like an no. entire cheeseburger. I know, isn't it like, weird? It was weird. How did they do that, that right? Mm -hmm. But they, I mean, it was like yeah, cheese, um, the, the fruity cereal yeah, one. Could, oh, I mean, yeah. they were just all great. Okay. Yes. I knew these were going to be coated bowls. See, because these are the ones get you a cup of glass of almond milk yes. and go to town. Mm -hmm. yeah. I knew they were going to be colded balls because their sweet flavors are gen. Oh gosh. Okay. Just do I was this. Trying to so, do yeah, do that. that. Do that. That's how it looks. You can't <laughs> but see like it's coated. It's coated, um, and it's probably going to taste delicious. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> mm. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I taste the roll. Mm -hmm. I, I taste know. the icing. I mean, I'm wearing you. I feel like I'm in Cinnabon right now. Mm -hmm. Where's two, the lime? Mm -hmm. Give me two, please. Mm -hmm. Tier one. Yeah. Absolutely Again, delicious. Tier one. We need to quit doing this. We I know. Out, we run out of one. I There's know, so right? Per, per that show. is just so good. Like, if you were missing, like, a, I mean, that would be great as cereal. It would. Oh, man. No, if the, look. Oh. If the milk, get you a cup of it, I was like, yeah. if the milk causes the outside to like break down a little bit, and like mm. your milk will be all cinnamony, mm. like that's delicious. Might have messed around and did something. Mm. Uh -oh. Tier one, absolutely delicious. Mm. Agree. Next, another one. Now right, let's slow this down. Fat snacks. Oh lord. Double <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> these, these are cookies. You're dumb. We know about fat snacks. Mm -hmm. This might be another great one. We know about fat snacks. Oh yeah. Okay, so that as suspected, like super duper that is yeah, fat like snack. as suspected, they got like mushed together. Mm -hmm. They're very soft cookies, yes. therefore they like kind of fall apart in the packaging. But this one is still, is. yeah, this is still one. It's almost, it's almost like a brown, like it's a very soft cookie. It's cakey, okay. you know. Here, you can take a piece. Yeah, it's just gonna this fall apart, and I have this part. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's Here very cakey. Go. Okay. Try this cakey fat snack. Okay. I'll let you two talk first. So double chocolate, very double chocolate. Yeah, very it is very exactly yes. the I cookie agree. is chocolate, and there are chocolate chips in it. That's mm. for the double. Makes sense. Mm. I mean, if I had to throw, a, you know, a little shade on it, mm -hmm. it's a tad dry. It's a tad mm. dry. Mm. I also so tend to get the. Though. Erythritol-y aftertaste, you know, as as you do with most soft cookies. I mean, that's just really what happens, right? I would give that a tier two. Yeah, two for me as well. Mm, I would agree as well. I just wanted to see what y'all were gonna say. 
I mean, it's delicious. Yes, yeah. it is awesome. Though. It is delicious. Very and chocolate. That is kind of my personal preference. I definitely like the crumblier, the crunchier cookies versus these very yeah. soft, soft cakey right. light yeah. cookies. That's my personal preference. But if you love that, you'll love that. double chocolate. It I is mean, very it was good. Chocolate City. Yeah, yeah. Very, that's very, that's a different thing. Chocolate. No. Mm -hmm. Staying on the cookie train. The cookie department. Oh my Cakewalk. Ooh, right. I don't think we've ever had cakewalk. We have definitely had cakewalk, but look at the difference. Like, it used to have the sprinkles. Oh, oh it was birthday cake. Maybe it's not the time. Cakewalk birthday cake. Oh, it it's is the, birthday that's cake. the name oh. of the, yeah. Okay, I thought it was a whole Maybe. different type of cake. Maybe no. they're on the inside. Never Maybe they're on the inside, but why would they change the packaging? Why yeah. would you, know, you do that? Flavor, you know? Okay. It's called a cakewalk. I mean, it's just, oh God, it's just a clever name. You did not even try to take that out. birthday Okay, right. it fell apart. It but fell. It like oh cake, God! Like a cake's going for a walk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, this is a huge cookie. Once again, soft, and they got rid of the sprinkles. I mean, I mean they might be in there. No, mm -hmm. they're definitely not in here. Yeah, we're right. Honestly, the, I don't know if the sprinkles really added to what was going on. So well, it, I think maybe that's maybe it's okay if they didn't take it away. Font and birthday cake is such a tiny Okay, font. let's say, let's go. Mm. Great with coffee. Mm -mm. <laughs> it is soft. Just like it's so definitely not cookie. dry. Oh. What am I tasting? Vanilla. I mean, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I'd still give it a tier two. Mm -hmm. Me as well. Mm -hmm. mm. What's what's it? Is there a number in between one and two? One point five. Oh. Yeah, it's once again, I think this is more like a your preference sort of thing, yeah. right? That doesn't bother you or if you're not that sensitive to it. Mm -hmm. This is really good. And yeah. I love the size of it. It was a big cookie. It broke apart into like well, 90 different pieces. I was pieces, going to say but... is that it was so good. It's yeah. so tasty. Yeah. It was, it's moist. It balances out. Yeah. Great like, with coffee. Yeah, but yeah. But yeah, coffee. still, I give it a tier two. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Next, we have Good Sam Dark Chocolate Candy Coated Peanuts. Mm. Can't say that so, three times. I know, I don't right? Think we've ever had these before. No, I think I've had them before, but I'm not sure. I don't think they you were in a keto share crib. with uh, us? Well, yeah. Oh, no. Sense. Oh, these are blue, blue. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. They like uh, ramen eggs. Oh, wow. Yeah, like okay. these are, are they? they're candy coated peanuts. Nice. Yeah, so, I mean, Dark they are chocolate. very. Oh, like MMs. Yes, except. These aren't, okay. I mean, that's like a peanut and a thick layer of chocolate uh -huh. and then a candy coating, right? This is literally just like yeah, a candy coated. Thin. Yeah, very thin. You can still see the pores. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Let's go. Here. Sorry. Here we go. As we were talking. Whoopsie. Things that I love. The candy coated nature of it. Mm -hmm. The taste of the peanut. Mm -hmm. The reminiscent of an M&M candy eating experience. Nice. Thing I don't really like, the dark chocolate. It's just not oh. sweet enough for me. Hey, you know what they remind me of? I know y'all know. Remember that you were going to a grocery store or something, or they got that big collectible, you know, the little bubble gum machines, and you put your quarter in, you keep turning it, and mm. things fall out. Mm -hmm. You get a handful. That's what those taste like. Those are great. What? Okay, I did not know. <laughs> I thought there was a, a finish to that. No, um, that's a tier two for me. I definitely don't mind those, but they are a, a little, they're not as sweet as I would like them to be, but I also have an extremely sweet mm. tooth. So but Depending on cost one for me, I really yeah. enjoy them. I mean, they're yeah. good. I mean, it's the dark chocolate for me too. I have to agree with my mm -hmm. wife. Just a little I bit. Would have, I would have liked it more, but the I'm a fan of dark chocolate. Dark. I'm a fan of dark mm -hmm. chocolate, but it just still has to be sweeter, though. Well, I understand. Especially like, when thinking M and M. Like the final product that we're trying: <gasps> Chalk Zero, <gasps> Keto Bark, dark, dark chocolate, <clears throat> coconut. <clears throat> I bet you I'm not gonna say this is bitter at all because Dark Chalk Zero has found a way oh to make everything they do oh, wow. so sweet. Yeah, nice. you know. Um, this is this beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, that yeah, is exactly. You, it's, it's like a six. It's yeah, upside part. down, sir. Okay, so you get. So the thing I love is individually packaged. Six come in a package. Um, this is keto bark, so it is essentially like. Um, so it's essentially just like its own mini candy bar. Look at that. Uh, Nice. In my opinion, it's too it's too uniformly shaped to be called bark. Like, you know, bark is like break it apart. It's a little yeah. but I mean this is a bar. But regardless, it are you okay for this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's try this before anything else happens. Okay. Hmm. 
First thing I can taste was the salt. Oh, I don't taste that. Peanuts? There's no peanuts. I mean, it's coconut. That sea salt. Mm. I did taste the salt. You can clearly see coconut flakes in here, and it adds to the texture, and I really like that. Mm -hmm. But do you know one flavor I don't taste at all? Bitter. It's not bitter. Mmm. And it's dark chocolate. Yeah, no, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. For me, it's a tier two. <gasps> Especially when you compare it to their nut flavors, mm. like almond, peanut, hazelnut, like those are my favorite. Don't, I mean, mm -hmm. and the, the coconut is very subtle. Mm -hmm, it is. A one five for I me. Mean, one oh. five. Yeah, I would say I don't even like chocolate. You know, I would probably lean more to a tier one than two no. because these are so portable, so easy to, to handle, yeah. and it's just like actually quite satisfying. Like I said, again, it's the sea salt for me, Holmes. Oh, for me, Holmes. <laughs> I love it. It is salty. I mean, don't go wrong. It's good. Oh, it's oh no, good. it's a tier two it's as I eat this good. entire thing. <laughs> Mom. 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 This is the only one where, like, I'm comparing it to the other versions mm, of these yes. that I know that I love, exactly. right? Objectively, but see, I still think that the coconut flavor is too, too faint. Too subtle. Yeah, like, I would still give it a tier two if yeah. you're expecting, like, a coconutty. But, like, say coconut on the thing. regardless, coconut. The chocolate is delicious. The eating experience mm -hmm. is amazing. Very the flavor true. is there. The salt is there. I mean, it is delicious overall. I just have to give it a tear. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. And you're comparing it against yourself, Chuck. No, no, we're comparing you against yourself. I hope you're happy with that. Your perfection. Do better. <laughs> than yourself. I know. Overall, that's it. That's all we have with the keto yeah, crate. You know, exactly. this oh, keto crate, you know, amazing. it was full of some like, mmm. Love those, right? right? So we, we had like three or four tier so, ones. Mm, yeah, I know. So mm, love these. Yeah, you know, like some things and then some fat bars. Like you know, things. I'm like, wow, I haven't had this in a while. Mm -hmm. Like that's I, that's why I love the keto crate. It delivers stuff to you that you've never heard of, that you've heard of and been wanting to try, or that you've heard of and know you love already, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm excited for the winner of this month's keto crate to try all of this stuff oh, and let us know what they think. Do you know who that person is? No, who is it? Right here. This, you, you right her. You have won. Send me an email to watchautumnketo at gmail.com to claim your keto crate. Must be in the United States. If you're not in the United States, we'll talk, but still. Um, Overall, this was a good, I give this keto crate like a B minus. Like it just, it was good. Wow. With so many ones. I was gonna say, B minus, we had like- Don't grade my four. report. I know, my gracious. My there were things that I really liked, but nothing just like excited me. Like, oh my God, I can't, I'm so excited about this, you know? B, I'll give it a B. Interesting. I'm the excitement factor. But like a de an A, definitely I'm the taste of everything factor. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, well. As I finished my chocolate zero tier two. Exactly. She ate the whole thing. If that tells you anything about her. Okay, guys, thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next month. Bye. <laughs>